I just wanted to do a really quick informative video about the procedure called dynamic proctograph. Um, you get a dynamic proctograph at University of Chicago. Not all hospitals do this before you have your takedown surgery, but basically what it does is it ensures that you don't have any holes or fistulas in your J pouch. So when you get your takedown, if you do have holes, the stool goes in places that it's not supposed to and that can be really bad for you. So this is just um, checking to see if your J pouch is perfectly formed and if everything's okay. So this was my second one earlier today and it's probably my favorite procedure out of all of them that I've had to go through. So what they do is they put you under this um, x-ray. But Why they call it dynamic is because you can actually see as they're inserting the dye. It's like more of a movie than a bunch of pictures, for lack of a better thing, for lack of a better term. Um, so what they do is you lie on a bed and you're lying on one of your sides and they insert a tube into your rectum, which isn't the most pleasant thing and it's kind of embarrassing especially when you have a cute intern like I did but um, they just insert probably a tube like this big oh not into your butt of dye so the tube is very small obviously um, then they insert some dye and you kind of watch on they'll let you see if you ask them to you kind of watch on a screen and you watch the dye kind of fill into this perfect J pouch and if you have a fistula, then there will be a little bit of dye that strays off into an area that it's not supposed to be in, and it's very easy to see. Um, so the first time I saw that little piece of dye go into place, and I was like, oh no. This time they say it doesn't look like there's a fistula, so hopefully I can get my drain pulled. Um, so this is a pretty painless procedure. Actually, it is painless, especially if you're used to having enemas done. The one tip I would say is definitely try and relax because that will make the tube go in a lot easier and a lot less painfully, like literally no pain. And the procedure probably takes like 15 minutes tops if everything goes right, which it's kind of foolproof procedure, I think. So I hope this was helpful. It wasn't, there's not much to a dynamic proctography test, but I just wanted to ease your nerves for anyone who's going to get a dynamic proctograph. So, um, it's honestly harder to say than go through. <laughs> so, that is about it for this video. I hope this was helpful or a little bit informative. If you have any questions, as always, post below and I'll get back to you. So, um, thanks for watching. Hope everything goes well and take care guys. Bye.